Yeah. Some Jeffers. Well, yeah, this is the guy, mate. Yeah, yeah. All right, sidecars. Okay, here we go. Sidecars are up on the up on the grid. And uh, how many have we got there now? We've got six. Okay, so that's good. We've got some back again, and it is the Dowmans away first as they head down towards uh, one, and our away second was the uh, James Shields machine as they head down out of turn one, heading down towards the bridge for the second time. Now, I don't think, have we got any for you? So I think we've still got one Formula One in there. Well, no, two Formula One bikes we've got in there. And the rest are all Formula Twos. So I see the Lawrences are back again. And uh, it's not showing them as being in there, but they're yeah, not no, there, I'm, I'm watching them. It's definitely in there. Yeah, so. Uh, upper, upper place already, which is, which is good to see. Yep, so it's, um, yeah, but it's, it's, well, it's a little bit like we were talking about earlier on with the 600s and the 1000s. Yeah. So it's the same thing with these. You know, the 1000s have just got that much more torque out of the corners. And uh, It's good I mean, to see, though. It's like the old school, um, uh, like, staggered starts they do in, in cars. Yeah. Um, like the, uh, the time gap between them. Yeah. Um, that's what we call handicap, handicap, handicap racing. racing that's handicap the racing. <laughs> They're start handicapping themselves, starting off the back. Yep. Um, and seeing if they can chase down the 600 yeah. uh, by the end of the race. Well, that's, uh, that used to be my my favourite because I was uh, running in the classics. I always had the fastest car in the class. And, and in 12 years of, of racing, course, I, only yeah. had, I only ever won two races because <laughs> they always used to start me off the back. And uh, when you get to the last lap and there's, you know, 24 cars in front of you going over the top of the hill at Pukekohe, you ain't going to win. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Of course. So. Well, the Lawrence is already up to... Um, they're, they're not showing on our time screens, um, but oh, I think they're... Well, they are, but they're not just showing as being in the position we think they're in. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure they're third at the moment, or they might be fourth. Let's pick them as they go much right over the hill. Second. Try, let's try second, shall we? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go second. Right yeah, so they're up in a second. The oh, no, no, sorry, third. No, they are third. There's first place there. The Dowmans are off and running. Yep. Heading down into the uh, Golden Homes hairpin. And then we go back a little bit further to... Uh, it will be... the James and Shields machine, and then right in behind them is the Lawrence machine. They're looking on the inside here into the dipper, they might make a, a pass in a second if they do. I just think they use the oh, torque coming yep. up the hill, to be honest with you. Yeah, so already alongside. It's a pretty easy move on the inside of the earth. As they come out of that uh, inside infield hairpin, heading down towards the uh, Dale ITM sweeper, so they're already up to second position yep. without even the first lap going. So we'll see. Um, oh, we're second lap now, aren't we? Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see the gap between them as they come across the line and we'll watch that gap obviously the rest of the race to see if uh, is a big enough gap between them from the, the Dowmans um, see if they can hold off the Lawrence brothers. Okay as they come here comes the Dowmans across the line now so obviously. Fastest lap of the race obviously uh, after the standing start. One. And there go the Lawrences across the line right after them and for some strange yeah. reason. Yeah slightly yes. quicker obviously coming through it's the field but that's right, we can probably pick them, there's not that many on the... OK, I think what might have happened here is we may have a introduced handicap, which the system can do if you program it right. Well, I think, looking at this, I think they've just... Um, someone has entered them as they're not going to start, because obviously didn't start the last race. And Possibly. they're just sitting here as do not start, but... Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll just visually watch the gap as they um, close in and see if they can, uh, can do it by the end of that. We've got six and a half seconds, and coming through the track at... The traffic that lap they were only only slightly quicker um, the lawrence brothers um, but uh here with clean air we'll be able to see the their first real test of the speed difference between the two um and we can i can obviously tell you um already that that gap is not six and a half seconds absolutely not um, going into the bottom the bottom corner we'll see how much quicker the lawrence brothers are and if the diamonds have got anything um to put in their way um, i doubt it oh yeah i mean actually when you look at that um that uh, Formula One machine. It's a big piece of kit. Yeah, so they're a big unit. So, yeah, that gap looks nothing like six seconds. Um, definitely not even half that. So I would expect um, the Lawrences to come pretty quickly onto the hill. So they're about two, two point two seconds a lap quicker um, than the Delmans. And that gap, uh, oof, rare. I can't actually. I can't tell you what the gap is. Uh, but I can tell you, it's, it's around about a second at the moment. Don't try. Yeah. Okay, so let's pick them up. Where are they? Uh, I think the position is probably... Oh, no, the, the Downmans are still in front. They're still holding out as they yep. come down towards the Golden Homes hairpin. As they go in there, the Lawrence machine closing right, right in the back the of the now. I'd say the next straight, which is the... Uh, 
Oh, Straight away down to the Dale Ice here, I think side we might almost. see past. Side by side almost as they go into the, into the barrel. Um, I, I don't want to take anything away uh, from Chris Lawrence um, on, the, on, the, on the sticks here. Like he is riding, riding a good race. Um, he might have a bit more power as he goes up the inside. Um, oh, look at the downwinds, are they going to hold him out? Oh, side by side around the bottom corner. Around the outside is a hard place to be, but he looks like he's going to hold on for now. <laughs> around formal, the outside. A little Formula <laughs> 2 machine can oh, do that. <laughs> the downwinds hold on for one more corner. It's uh, a little bit of excitement here, but can they lead one more lap? It doesn't look like it in the, in the slipstream. The Lawrence is about to pull out alongside. As they come across the line, they're going to be side by side. The Downman's lead again and hold off for one more lap up the inside. No, not uh, quite going to uh, make it. They're going to hold it. <laughs> they're hey, good on them, they haven't they? Putting uh, up a fight. They are making their little 600 as wide as they possibly can. Um, yeah, as I was saying, Chris, on the um, on the brakes and the gas, he is, he is keeping that LCR... Um, that sidecar looking pretty pointed in the right direction. Um, you, you you can't fault can't fault him at all. But man, the Dalman's still holding on. We were a whole lap, um, and that gap has not really got any smaller um, from where it was here a lap ago. So well done. Yep. So as they come out of there with a climb up up the hill, there it is. The Dalman machine leads the Lawrence machine, and uh, so it's Formula Two versus Formula One. Still holding uh, off. Formula Two is definitely holding out the Formula One bike now. I'm picking, or Rigo should say, I'm picking, he's going to hang the, he's going to hang the inside, the inside line. that's a sensible place he's to be. Not making it easy, Lawrence is looking to go on the outside, the more power, they've got a bit of, bit more momentum going in and oh, around no, the outside, <laughs> they swing on in, yeah, so the move from the Lawrence's, they did everything they could to cover that, um, but at the end of the day. Like I say, there ain't no replacement for displacement, and uh, that was just proved there, 1000cc versus 600, and 1000cc was always going to win that drag race up the hill. And as I come across the line one more time, it's uh, oh side by side. Look at that. Yeah, the well, like they're not giving this up. I think with on the last lap, well the Lawrence has take the lead, um, but mate, the Downmans they're not making this easy for them. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Peter Downman goaded on the sticks, looking for the outside line into turn two. Surely not. Like the Lawrence has hold on for now, um, but the little 600, mate, she is making a dance. Yep. It's uh, certainly got the. Uh, he's certainly making it difficult. It for, is for I'm sure. just wondering if uh, if Chris Lawrence is being a little bit more, um, how should we say, making a race of it. <laughs> so, but, uh, I think now that he's in front, uh, we will we'll see this lap. Uh, we'll check his lap time out next time around. It was his last yeah, one round was a 60. He's his best yeah. of the 16 seven. Yeah, his last one was an 18-9. I think that was, that was stuck most of the lap behind yeah. um, the Dalmans there, but we'll see as they come across the line. Oh, well, they've already pulled out a gap here. Yeah. Look at this. this is, it's OK. It's like, right, OK. Guess, guess the horsepower help. Yep, it's good night, gone. nurse. I'm gone. So I've, I've, let, I've given you a sniff of it for a wee while now. I'm taking yeah. it away from you. Well, good to see um, making a race of it for, for most of that race. <laughs> Uh, well done to the Dalmans. Uh, so up the hill they come, and with uh, this will we check a flag lap, and sure enough, there it is as the uh, Lawrences go across, take one out from the Dalmans, who yeah. just finished 1.8 seconds behind. That's not bad. Yeah. Then there's a big, 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 very big gap back to the next rig, which is going to come across the line shortly. Actually, there's a good group of them together here. Been having a great race. Uh, so you've got Desmond James comes through in third with Andrew Shields is on the side. Then Glenn Spencer and Jan Spencer and then Peter Breda and Vincent Keslake. The next one's through. And I don't know if we've still got uh, we've still got rig coming. Let me have a look. Let me go back down the track. I don't think we have. I think so. Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got one rig coming up the hill here now. And that will be the... Uh, Ian Burke and George Vernell machine. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of um, either married or, or sibling pairings on a lot of these sidecars. Yep. I know the Scribners they used to, um, uh, or sorry, um, Steve Bryant, um, him and Tracy used to have. She would swing on another sidecar and he would drive another one um, because if they both if they both fell off. One of them had to work the next day. Yeah. yeah. Fair so they were going to swing on the same sidecar and both get injured. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's probably best if it's just one of them. Like Andy, Andy and Lewis, his son as well. Yep. <laughs> both worked at the same place. Couldn't have both of them off. <laughs> That's a good way of... Um, yeah. yeah, OK. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, yes, I must admit, it's... Uh,